But since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Today's beer that we are checking out is the one and the only Pliny the Elder. Uh, Russian River Brewing. It is an 8% double IPA, 100 IBUs. So it is a bitter, bitter beer. Uh, it is one of my favorite beers. I've had this dozens of times. I just wanted to put a video up kind of talking about it um, just because I think it's worthy. Uh, in my opinion, easily, I mean, one of the best beers on the planet. It definitely lives up to the hype. Um, I have not had Hetty Topper, and I imagine that and like Double Sunshine from Lawson's is maybe the only two beers that really could compete with this beer. I don't know. There might be other beers out there that are as good. There's a lot of Pliny haters, and a lot of people like to uh, rattle off dozens of beers that they think are better than Pliny. But for my money uh, and for my availability, this is the best beer out there. Um, this beer was bottled, today is October 3rd. This was bottled on September 30th, so this beer is four days old. And for Southern California, I mean, Rush, Russian River is up in Northern California. Uh, for Southern California, that is super, super fresh. I'm really, really excited to try this. Um, I was lucky enough during the summertime, I went up to California Extreme and my buddy Todd visited uh, Russian River, went to the brewery, got bottles and fresh growlers of Pliny. So um, the beer that I had there, I think was two or three days old by the time I got up there. And I just remember it being amazing. We drank it all weekend and I was like, wow. How am I going to, you know, how do you top a weekend of drinking that? So, um, usually in Southern California where I'm at, North County, the bottle shops that get this, uh, it's always been like two or three weeks old, which, I mean, what can you do? You can't complain about it. It's still really, really good. But seeing this, uh, I actually got this today. I grabbed it. Uh, seeing that it's four days old, I was like, yeah, we need to drink this right now just to see how it differs when it's really, really fresh. It's compared to when it's not so fresh. So, um, yeah, like I said, 8% double IPA. Uh, year-round offering so it's available all the time which is great it's just hard to get your hands on especially in Southern California nice hiss on that bottle um, most places down here it's a one bottle limit and people I mean they they kind of get the uh, schedule for when the distributors uh, delivering beer and they you know they know what days it's coming and they call ahead and as soon as it hits there it's it's gone like within an hour so you kind of got to be lucky to to get it and I was lucky enough to grab this bottle today so I want to check it out I can smell that from here <laughs> which is awesome uh, pouring it into our Russian River glass shout out to my buddy Todd for picking that up um, pour is a very clear there's a little bit of a chill haze on that um, just a nice golden amber color really really carbonated I don't know if you can see the bubbles in that uh, well carbonated bright white fluffy head um small bubbles at the bottom and then there's kind of big soapy looking bubbles at the top uh smells just super dank piney uh citrus lots of grapefruit grapefruit uh zest lemon zest grapefruit peel maybe it's very very bitter hoppy in your face smelling i love the way this beer smells and i mean being as fresh as it as fresh as it is it smells absolutely outstanding so without further ado let's uh let's check this out cheers wow 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 ah it's so good right uh right up front just huge bitterness um and then middle of the mouth you get all that citrus grapefruit a little bit of orange maybe some like mango some sweet fruit and uh and then you get bitterness again on the back end just really really in your face super hoppy really you get pine really dank pine just hoppy epicness <laughs> it's weird to even describe it like that but it's just such a good such a good freaking beer you get to a lot of that like kind of grapefruit rind like the, the pith on uh, on the finish really really bitter i love the way that finishes but it finishes dry i mean mouthfeel feels it's i mean medium body easily drinkable today it was warm today again the santa Ana started blowing and it's 90 degrees out here right now 
I could easily sit here and drink four or five of these. I mean, 8%. I'd be probably in bed in, you know, a couple of two hours, but I'd be feeling fucking awesome, I'll tell you that much. So, yeah, Pliny, if you, uh, if you can get your hands on this, by all means do it. If you can get multiple bottles of it, by all means do it. Buy as many as you can and just drink them all one after one every single day. <laughs> you will not be disappointed. Oh, that is so good. It's a cool label too. I love this bottle. Really simple, but uh, I mean, when you when you see it, you know it. It's just right there, boom, Pliny the Elder. Russian River makes great beers. Um, they're known for their IPAs. Uh, we talked about Pliny the Younger when I did my uh, Exponential Hoppiness video. And uh, they're also known for their sours. They make awesome sours. Consecration is a great one, Supplication. Um, they make an awesome Belgian called Damnation. If you're in the Northern California area and you haven't checked out Russian River, you absolutely have to go up to Santa Rosa and check them out. Um, just awesome, awesome beers, as good as it gets in the craft beer world, in my opinion. Um, I mean, down here, Stone makes some good beers, but Pliny, I mean, as far as IPAs that I've ever had, it's it's the best one, without a doubt. That bitterness is still sitting there. Awesome stuff. So, uh, that's it. I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this. I've actually got a couple more in the fridge, so I'll probably drink those too. Why not? It's Friday. Fuck it. That's what you do on Friday. You drink beers. It's the weekend. <laughs> so, as always, thank you for subscribing. If you've had Pliny and you love it, leave a comment. If you hate it, tell me why. Maybe you think it's hyped. A lot of people think it's way overhyped. I think it absolutely lives up to the hype. It's definitely worth seeking out. Um, if you can get it, get it. If you need to trade for it, trade for it. If you've got anything that I can't get, I've got some pl extra Pliny's in the fridge. I'll trade you for it. I mean, I can't imagine. I was going to say if anyone's got any Heady Topper, if you want to trade for Pliny, I can't imagine you haven't had Pliny if you have Heady Topper, but maybe you just want some more Pliny. I'll trade you. Hit me up. Send me a message. So, uh, yeah. Such an awesome beer. Check it out for sure. That's it. I'm out of here. I will see you guys later. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.